welcome back to Never Say Never with your host, Samantha Sawyer Valley. When I talk about inspirations, I mean, we've had them back to back to back. And today we are sitting here with Darnell Boone. Darnell, why don't you tell everybody um, who you are and what you do? Um, I'm a professional boxer. I'm from downtown Ohio. Um, just recently moved down here. I've been uh, in the Bay Area for the three and a half months now and getting an appointment. Yeah? And so when, when you grew up when you grew up in, as a child, did you say, oh, I'm gonna be a boxer one day, I'm gonna be a boxer one day with a silver spoon in your no, mouth? It actually just was an accident. Just went to the gym, I was actually taking my little brother to the gym. Yeah? And got, and got involved with it like that. Okay, and um if I'm not mistaken, you actually moved out on your own at an early age. Yes. And then how how old were you at that point? I was twenty one. Twenty one? Okay, so when your brother said, take me to the gym, I remember our conversation, you looked around, and what was your first thought when you were looking around that room? I'm, I'm you know, me being a big brother, I'm like, you box. <laughs> you know? So, you know, I'm like, yo, you, you know what, I'm going to take you to the gym tomorrow, I want to see what you got. But when I got there, you know, I fell in love with the atmosphere, just like, instantly. Right. So um, I start, I immediately start, I asked the trainer that was training that day, I said, uh, let me work with somebody. And he told me no at first. And then uh, I guess he got tired of me pressuring him about it, and he actually put me in there with somebody. You know, now I, I didn't know the guy that I was born with was the best guy in the world. He was actually 22 and 0, 22 knockout. I was about to say it wasn't just somebody, <laughs> yeah, was it? Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't just anybody. But, that day, you know, um, started my journey in the boxing world. Okay, so let me explain this to you guys. Um, when that, we're saying that somebody in 22 and 0, yeah, that means he was the baddest guy in the ring, if I'm not mistaken, right. and they put you up against the toughest. Right. Right. Um, where are you now in your standings? Um, right now, I'm ranked uh, in the top 15. Top and, uh, 15. Well, Box Rec had me at, at the top 15 in, uh, in the country and the top uh, 30 something in the world. Now let me ask you, did you win that first fight? Yeah, yeah well, I, won my, I won my first fight. Uh, amateur, I won the first four. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And, and you have another one coming up, if I'm not mistaken, at the trade wins? Oh yeah, that, that, that's the profile, bro. Amateur, I won my first four, and then the second six, I had to step it up. So, you know, because my age, I had to go open. So I had to start fighting the guys with the 100, 100 fights or 50 fights, 60 fights or whatever. So when I turned pro, the same thing happened. You know, I started out, started fighting the guys with the same record that was out of me. <laughs> then they started throwing me out there with the guys that had the better record. Right. And that's when everything started taking time for the work. No, 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 but you never said what? Never. And you're Never. still Never. fighting, Never. right? Still doing my thing. Okay, now we're going to be doing more interviewing with you and we're going to actually watch you practice. We're going to meet the family and we're going to follow you all the way up to the fight. Oh, um, but I meant, you mentioned something about your brother, so um, he's actually here. So we're going to bring him in and let him tell a little of his story. So Danny, you're a boxer as well, if yes. I'm not mistaken. Yep. Yeah, and how long have you been boxing? Uh, I just turned pro recently. Um, I've been pro for about a month now. I just had my first pro fight in Brooklyn uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, did you win? I came out to a majority draw, but... <laughs> Are you going to say never though? Are you going to quit? Uh, no, never, ever. <laughs> Actually, I actually have another fight uh, already planned. Um, okay. And July 8th at the BBK Center in uh, Times Square, New York City. Love New York City. That is oh, yeah. an amazing, I, I've go there a million times, it probably happened, but. <laughs> That's right, yeah, don't know a spot there, so he said it's beautiful. Yeah, and you know, I love the way that you just said, I've been pro for about a month, Yeah. but I heard some hesitation there. How many people get to say, I've been a pro boxer? Yeah. You know what I mean? Say that with pride. Well, that, that first fight. Do it again, say it again, I want to hear it again. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to say it with some. Uh, I've been pro. About a month. There we go. That's what we're talking about. 
No, it feels great to say that. You know, it's like a dream come true. I mean, it's something you watch on TV. Yeah, oh, very. Yeah. It's something you watch on TV growing up. It's like, man, I wonder what that feeling is actually like. And, you know, I, when I was like a, a mentor, a big brother to me, inspiration, you know, of everything he's been through, his journey, it got, you know, I looked at it, look at him as motivation. It makes me want to push harder. And, Do you have the same story as Darnell or? Uh, no. For boxing wise? Um, as far as the way you grew up and where you came from. Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, it's kind of similar because uh, my last name in the Youngstown area is very well known. It's my, my dad and my uncle both professional fighters. My dad was very popular. Uh, he was 28 and 8, won a New Jersey State title, Ohio State title. And, um, you know, even as an amateur, I fought because of my last name. They figured, oh, you know, he's Rosemary, he can fight. But my very first fight, the guy I had. He had 22 amateur fights. And it was your first one? Yes. <laughs> so kind of, it was very, yeah. very similar. <laughs> yeah. yeah, then after that, the second guy fought, he had 50 fights. And from there, I never fought anybody with the same amount of fights as me. Which, you know, that you know that's going to help me in my future. You know, exactly. I'm fighting like, these guys better up in two spot other people. Yeah, it's kind of like God knew what he was doing with you guys. He's like, all right, I'm going to let you get beat up a couple times, so you know what you're doing. Yeah. Um, so are you going to be fighting here also at the trade August 22nd. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, this is so amazing. Well, we're sitting here at Elizabeth's Boutique, and it's the place to be on the beach. So you guys know what bring your lovely ladies. Thank oh, you for stopping. Absolutely. And um, Trey Woods is right across the street, and we are going to see Darnell next week in the gym. That's where you guys just came from, right? Yeah. All right, I need you guys to do one favor for me and look at the camera and tell them never say never. Never say never.